Hi, this is Keith Wimes, VP of Marketing of Elemental Technologies, and I often get asked the question, why is 4K video so challenging from a video processing perspective? And I think everyone understands the value that it provides, right? So 4K video is essentially an extension of what's been happening over the last 20 years as, as video went from a resolution that was a standard definition resolution on smaller TV sets. About 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago, high definition sets started to come out. It had provided for additional resolution and that provides an additional level of quality. Most people have experienced that level of quality uh, by now by having that additional resolution. 4K is just another extension of that. That's one of the main challenges. So one of the main challenges is how do you deal with all of these pixels, right? When you look at SD versus HD versus 4K, there's essentially 16 times the amount of pixels on a given screen, on a given image. And that's really challenging. It's challenging from a video processing perspective. You're making decisions really around different parts of the screen. There's more uh, to essentially think about and there's more to process, more decisions to be made over time in terms of temporal uh, encoding that goes on and a big, bigger spatial uh, set to be dealing with in terms of the size of the screen. But there's also some other challenges to 4K. One is in traditional HD and especially in SD, the frame rate was typically, in, a, in the US market, 30 frames per second. Overseas, 25 frames per second. That's, that was typical for both SD and HD. Now there is some HD that's 60 frames per second, but in general, any content that you receive today from a video delivery provider, it's coming in at 30 or 25 frames per second. With 4K, the resolution is so advanced and the level of quality for a given image is so good that we don't think in many cases 25 or 30 frames a second is going to cut it, particularly in the applications that enjoy 4K the most. W what is that? That's sports. In sports, there's a lot of fast motion. And when you're going at only 30 frames per second on a screen that's 85 inches, you're going to be able to see some, some, essentially some judder that happens when you have fast motion in a horizontal direction. And so in many cases, 4K is challenged not only by the amount of information in a given frame, but also the frame rate, going from 30 to 60 or 25 to 50 for international markets, that becomes a challenge. It's twice as much information when you're doubling that encoding frame rate. So those are some of the challenges that we see. There's some more, though, that are even deeper than that in terms of color bit depth. In the SD and HD world, typically what gets delivered to uh, end consumers is eight bits of color, and that's perfectly fine for that level of resolution. But when you take it to the 4K level, you start to see banding effects, particularly in the flat background. You'll see almost striations that occur. If you see an area that's somewhat like a sun, you'll see that you know, the, the impact of banding that occurs as the color changes just slightly. And in many cases, we believe that to have that pristine level of quality is going to require a bit depth of 10 bits. That's additional processing that has to be done. And so when you think of the challenges of video, it's not only the number of pixels and the resolution, it's not only the frame rates that are going to increase, but it's also the number of bits of color that need to be uh, encoded. All of that provides a challenging environment for Kodak manufacturers, but it's something that Elemental is really good at, applying the power of our underlying platform with the flexibility of our software approach to 4K is an area that we excel. Thanks for watching.